Girl, considering immigrating to Canada, I'm considering going back to Canada. <laughs> Straight up. Or that's like before I get deported, basically, because I am literally dealing with like a Muslim ban in the States right now. It's ridiculous. What is this? I have no idea. I'm not even Muslim. I just have like, you know, like we have the wrong skin color because I'm gonna get deported too. I mean, we both love Muslims, right? 100%. I mean, you, I love, you, you love Muslims. 100%. You love the Muslims. Come Muslims. over to my house. Right? Be my friend. Yes. Yes. Or over uh, here in Unicorn Island and everything. Mm -hmm. Like, I wish this oasis would just like exist. Are you gonna take us in as refuge or something? Like, uh, yeah, we're gonna make it exist. Yeah, it does okay. exist. Okay, all right, thank you. Yeah. That's like always a really good yeah. backup. Mm -hmm. I don't understand what's going on with this because Muslims are pretty dope people. Mm -hmm. Muslims are amazing. Like, yeah. mad cool. Look at your eyebrows. Trump's eyebrows really messed up. I'm so, enough said. I feel like there's <laughs> other more ridiculous people that should be banned besides Muslims. There are so many people so that should many. be banned before Muslims, people. right? I could totally think of a few right now. Let's go. People who try to talk to you when you have your headphones in. Oh my god, I'm so glad you're not busy. This scarf is amazing. You probably can't even tell. It looks so normal. Oh, are you one of those Islams? Oh, you can't even tell. Where'd you get it from? Because I was at Forever 21 actually, and they had these scarves, and I was like, oh, this looks like one of those Islam scarves. Okay, thanks. Bang! What is with that? Is I don't know. I am being. I'm in my own everyone. world over here, and like people are trying to like come at me, and I'm just like. This and is here's kind of the thing, though. Like, something. yes, I can hear you through my headphones, but I'm gonna pretend like I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I can hear you. Sometimes I put on headphones that aren't playing anything, 100%. so I can just. <laughs> really, there's earmuffs. Really, at this point, they're just earmuffs. <laughs> Gotta I think go we all need headphones to deal with what's going on right now. But 100% agree. Yeah. Ban, ban. Okay, what about this one? Number two, people who post spoilers about TV shows. <laughs> Ooh. People have no basic no decency. Respect. No respect. No respect. No respect. No damage. Okay. Game of Thrones walking to shows oh where people be dying. Red Wedding or even like Ned Stark. Or even what I saw. Wait, wait, wait. Don't spoil anything for me, Lily. What are you doing? Don't worry, he lives. He lives, <laughs> he lives a long time. Wait, you were seriously spoiled. Am things. I bad? <laughs> Bye. Bye. That one friend that has to Snapchat everything. Okay, I don't know who to talk to besides you. I had the worst day ever and I just... Had a fight with my boyfriend because what happened was I tweeted him a Game of Thrones reference and he was like, "This is a spoiler," and I was like, We've "Gotten such a big fight." Are you Snapchatting this? What? But I just I thought it, I thought it was an important moment to capture. Did you at least use a filter? Do, do you like this one? No. Yeah, no. 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 That one's okay. So annoying. Also, how does your battery not die? People put like each other on blast so much. I like, know. I don't want my business on your snap. Like, or what? like when people also send their story to you. <gasps> oh my god. Why do I need to? Are you? Why? See, why do I need to see you twice? Or like someone's trying to holla. It's just like, okay, I'm pretty sure you can come up with more interesting things to snap me than your story right now. Can we just one reason that Muslims shouldn't be banned is the way she just said holla. <laughs> I've never heard someone say holla. Yo, that's, I've not, never that's heard. not the Muslim. That's the New York. Right there. Hala. Can you do it again? Hala. 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 Yala. 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 We gotta oh. get back out of here, yo. <laughs> this is why. The more you know. Honestly, we should be. We should be in the states on a payroll. Okay. <laughs> or what about the friend that spams the group chat? I oh can't. My God. I can't. Group chat with like having this event. Check it out. Or like those stupid like YouTuber ones that like check out her new video and stuff. <laughs> like they're so annoying. Oh, up, yeah, with the so new annoying. Yeah. Hitting you back to back with like 10 or 20 text messages that they could have sent in one text. Oh. Like, thr, thr, thr. <laughs> you should totally switch places with a Muslim and like do us a favor over here. <laughs> or like when they see that you're on Instagram liking things, so they like take advantage. Well, I can't. This, that is literally why 100% of my relationships have ended. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God because I'll be so busy, but Instagram's work. And I'll right. be busy on Instagram. I'll be like, well, you're too busy to reply to me, but you can post on Instagram. I'm like, first of all, don't stock what I'm doing. Creep status. I know. I know. The person who you're showing a pic to that starts swiping through your phone. That's dangerous. Especially if that person's a parent. Parents oh don't be doing that. God. Don't be doing that. Especially if it's a Muslim parent. Yeah. <laughs> to like my Punjabi parents. And they don't realize what they're doing. Like they don't understand what they might see. Like I'm just like, we're just gonna be an awkward situation for both of us. Just don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Confession. So like I'm a hijabi, I wear a headscarf. I got scarfless pictures on my phone. <laughs> I got way worse on my phone. Like not, I'm not trying that to have to lay so eyes on <laughs> See, for me, it's like if people swipe through, I'm like, oh my god, you're gonna see me in a beard in two seconds. <laughs> or what about people that tell you to do something when you're in the middle of doing it? 
Like, yo, right now, like, should we, um, let's do the collab one day. Okay, Lily. Yeah. Because that's totally Ooh, the one we're doing We should do right a collab now. one day where we're, like, singing yellow chairs, talking about why Muslims should be banned. Yeah, great idea. Genius. My mom does this all the time. Yeah. All the time! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm pretty sure this is what developed like my rebelliousness at a very early age. I am who I am today because my dad kept telling me to do things while I'm in the middle of doing them. <laughs> exactly. Like, exactly. like doing the dishes. Yeah. It's like the equivalent of like when my mom used to call the house phone and answer and she'd be like, are you home? <laughs> yes! Yes, I am home. Or what about the people who double tap on an Instagram picture while you're creeping, thinking it's gonna zoom in? This is what I was telling you about. He's sitting up all the time. Oh my he's god, like, Lily, he's so cute. What are you doing? Oh, no, that is wow. life. He's like this. What? What? Dude, no. okay, 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 okay. Oh, no. oh. And then you liked a 37 week old picture that you were just trying to do on. Rolling 122 weeks deep, that yeah. has happened to it's me. Happened. Have you ever sent a screenshot to somebody of a combo you were having? Yes! With them? Yes! Okay. I had that <laughs> is literally the worst. Like, the utmost, like, most yeah. embarrassing. What I actually did to cover it up, I sent them the conversation and I was like, I just wanted to show you how dumb you sounded. <laughs> so people who who miss text screenshots of text mm -hmm. messages can also mm -hmm. GTFO. Yeah. No, no place for you around here. Hundred percent Ben. Hundred percent Ben. Why are you still here? <laughs> All of these people can get out of here mm -hmm. and and get banned from the United States. 100%. No place for you in our country. We can all co-sign on my country. I'm still trying to get status here, but your country, yeah. <laughs> Am I, I might be one of those people. I'm very content being a Canadian, so. <laughs> I'm yeah. pretty sure everyone's like jealous of you for that right now, like. <laughs> I do get mad people hitting me up being like, you're Canadian. <gasps> oh my God, I'm like, wow. Seriously, like, can, the first. You, can you marry me? Yeah, that be a I'm thing? down, like, let's do it. Okay, yeah. thank you, I need the papers. Yeah. If we didn't have Muslims in this country, I feel like we wouldn't have like really dope reading material. Yeah, oh like my our God, bookshelf that was on my book be That was for real on my bookshelf, empty. by the way. That was not a planted prop. I actually do own this book. I am a fan, and it was actually here. So much girl love. Of course, girl love all the way. We can't generalize a whole group of people on the fact that they're Muslim. Like, that's just stupid. Come on! As funny as this may be because of how absolutely ridiculous it is, mm -hmm. the fact remains that there are families getting ripped apart. It means that religion does play a factor, and that should never be the case. 100%. It's literally, like, I feel like I'm in a movie that was filmed in the 1500s. Oh my god. And I'm like, is this real life right now? It's absolutely ridiculous. When we're studying like the civil rights movement or anything like that when we're in school, we're always asking ourselves like, oh, I wonder what, what I would have been doing mm -hmm. in the civil rights era. I wonder if I would be like picketing too. It's yeah. like, what you're doing at this moment in time right now is exactly what you would have done back then. 100%. Right? And like years from now, people will read about that yep. in a book. So you gotta decide, what do you want your actions to be? Yeah. People are gonna look back at this moment and just like how we look back at some horrible things that have happened throughout history, like, oh my god, how could they let that happen? You know, it's up to us to make sure that future generations don't ask that question. Yeah. They could look back at us and be like, yo, they put a stop to it. That was badass. That's because of people like her. People like that. People like us. People like you. <laughs> people like you, literally, We're from wherever together. you are. I have a video called Three Ways Allies Can Help Muslim Women. Definitely check it out. Very easy things to do, literally, from wherever you're sitting right at home. Everyone has a part. Like, this is not the moment to feel hopeless or in despair or anything like that. There are people that need you right now, and there's a lot that you can do just with the resources you have at your fingertips. So never be afraid to step up. All of you watching, you should speak up about this because wonderful people get impacted. That write wonderful books. And you know how to say hala, very cool. <laughs> oh, shout out your book. Oh, you want me to shout out? Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, there's this thing, right? I got this book coming out. I mean, it's not gonna be compared to your masterpiece, but I have a book coming out called How to Be a Bouse. It is a guide on how to not just survive life, but conquer life. Mm -hmm. um, and it's 50 chapters of things I've learned and the lessons I believe that can help you be the best bouse you can be. Can translate to anyone. Yes, 100%. No, and no matter who you are, what age you are, what you're going through in life, I truly believe it'll help everyone. Perfect. I'm so proud of you. Oh, that was so good. Thank you. You're so good. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you my outro. Okay. Okay, so it goes one love, one love, superwoman. That gets complicated. Yeah. Oh, so close. Three and three. No one ever gets it. What? Three and three. Boom. Whoa. Yeah, superwoman. That is a wrap. Superwoman. And super. Whoop! Close. <laughs> <laughs>